Hiya, and welcome to an, another edition of the Summer Story Splash. Today's story is titled My Inside Weather, written by Jen Thorpe, Lara Burge, and Emma Beckett. Let's have a look at the picture. There's a little girl, and there are pictures of her in different weather. Do you know what weather is? Yes, the atmospheric condition, how the sky is, how the environment is. So there's a picture of her in the sun and another picture of her in the rain. Let's read the book and find out how weather can be inside. It's easy to talk about the weather outside, even if it changes all the time. Have a look at the picture. Isn't it funny? One side is sunny and the other side is rainy and cloudy. But it's hard to talk about the weather inside me. Sometimes it feels like people don't understand. Ooh. Here's a picture of the rain, the sun, the birds, the clouds. Do you feel like that too? What do you think she means by the weather inside? I think it has something to do with her feelings. Do you have different feelings? Sometimes happy, sometimes sad? Some days my mind is full of sunshine and rainbows. I feel like I can do anything. On other days my head is full of fog and clouds. It's hard to listen to what people are saying or to remember things. I sometimes wake up feeling like it's windy and wild in my head. I feel tired and grumpy. And sometimes it feels like it's raining inside me. It can be a drizzle making me feel sad or a storm making me feel angry. Sometimes the weather inside me doesn't match the weather outside. Yes, there are days when it's dark outside, but you're just happy and content. Sometimes my inside weather doesn't match how I want to feel or how I think I should feel. Is that okay? Yes, of course it is. The best thing to do when we feel like our inside weather is strange is to tell someone we love and talk about it. Who do you love? Your mom, your dad, your teacher, your sisters, your brothers? If you're feeling sad or bad, you can share with those you love. They've got inside weather too and they'll understand. So they can comfort you after listening to you and they can give you good advice a lot of times. The end. Thanks for listening and keep reading.